So my question to you is, how do I approach buyers um, and get them on board in terms of marketing and um, ethical system, especially here in the United States? I think as well, um, you might want to approach companies like Mustard or um, Shell Oil and Gas or all these companies towards sustainable development, CSR, because what you want to do is build a lot of awareness of the product. It's a concept more than it is actually a look. So your target is kind of like, you know, that very socially responsible person, maybe uh, goes to the organic supermarket, uh, does yoga, etc. So uh, usually this type of people might not spend that much on a, on a piece. But I mean, in your story, you could get away with that. Um, the web, for example, there are special websites and send special alpaca fabrics and all of that. So, I think as well, I can see it doing very well in areas like Le Marais in Paris or Soho or, you know, the very artsy, conceptual type of stores. Uh, I think you're really ahead of yourself, which is amazing. Uh, it's just about building awareness and asking the media to help you target the niche you're looking for. But it's a story and it's so much effort and work as well as that. I can't imagine the research you had to do. There's a lot of versions involved in Atlanta. It's always been there and there's always been there. And raise awareness about what you mean by the hence of this silk, you know, the hence of like being non-violent and what you want to achieve with your brand. And maybe you want to have a part where people can donate the proceeds to a certain charity close to your heart, support that whole angle. Do you think you guys ready for that? Yes. Yeah, but it's a niche, which is good. I don't think you guys ready for it. Uh, you have a massive challenge here. Uh, you also need to ensure that every collection design is as a friend as you would like to be because the moment you start to come out, people will start researching on you, not only on your public aspects, on your product that you use, about your private life as well. If there's something that is not in line with your credo or your belief, they don't jeopardize your success. Dubai, I don't think it's ready yet for it, even though there's a lot of talk. Personally, I cannot even find a place where to put a bottle of plastic bottle, to be honest with you. Uh, I have, in terms of innovation, yes, there's a lot of talks about it. Uh, I would rather suggest market, like we suggested, and uh, trying to uh, start the brand in, in a different place. Uh, obviously, ensure that you have a collection that you can sell, because it's not just about bringing an item to a, a buyer and trying to sell it a, in a store, a department store. You need to have something after that. Well, so. in terms of, um, this would be more product based, where once I graduate, there will be a collection and I'll be going to production there. But this is just a product, and possibly on the same vein, where you have clothing that um, can be worn multiple ways, uh, so it serves more functions. That is something, there are more products there that I can develop. Um, but you don't think it can stand on its own as just jackets? Well, if you have a collection of jackets, if you focus on the element like the boots. Uh, I think that's, that's uh, an idea there, and there is a detail that you can keep on working on. And uh, it's the overall picture that I'm a little bit worried about it because, as I said, I, I've been trying my business to go through that path, and uh, I had a lot of questions asked uh, to ensure that I was working on a clean project, but then, you know. And I see a lot of things that people can pick up on uh, that will not uh, sustain my, my concept. So it's a challenge. It's an extra work you need to do. So if you succeed, you know, I will pull up for you. Especially if you do it here in the line.